In this video, we're just quickly summarizing what the root test is for the convergence of a series, and then we're going to apply it to a couple examples. And as you might suspect, one of these examples is going to converge and the other one is going to diverge. So here's how the root test goes. You take the absolute value of the terms. If there are any issues there with um, alternating signs or anything like that, we're looking at the absolute value of the terms and the nth root of the absolute value of the nth term. That's going to go to some limit. If that number for the limit is less than 1, then you get absolute convergence for your series. If it's bigger than 1, you get divergence. And if it's equal to 1, you learn nothing. So the test is inconclusive. Now, this is very handy for series that have an exponent of n in them because when you take the nth root, it undoes that. So if you run into a series with an exponent of n that's causing you problems, it's probably going to be the root test that gets you out of trouble. Let's apply the root test to our first series. I'm going to take the limit as n goes to infinity. I don't even have to worry about absolute values here because there are no negative terms. And I'm going to have the nth root of n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 to the n. All right, so the nth root is the same as an exponent of 1 over n. I multiply the exponents, and the nth root has undone the exponent of n. So I'm left with just the limit as n goes to infinity, n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. If I treat this somewhat formally, I could divide the top and bottom by n. And that would give me 1 plus 1 over n and a 2 plus 1 over n. And 1 over n unambiguously goes to 0. So I'm left with just 1 half. Well, that's a number less than 1, so this series converges. Okay, next example. I could express this all as n over 2 to the nth power, and then when I apply the root test again, the nth root is going to undo the nth power. So I have the nth root of n over 2 raised to the n, and the nth root and the nth power undo each other. And I have limit as n goes to infinity of n over 2. And that goes to infinity, which is way bigger than 1. So this series diverges. Now, an interesting point about this series is we should have seen that it diverged from the very beginning just by using the divergence test. It's one of the first tests that we saw in the series chapter. If the terms, of, if the terms in a series don't go to 0, then the series definitely blows up. And if I just look at these terms and just look at the limit of that, again, this was called the divergence test or the nth term test. You just look at the limit of the individual terms. If those terms aren't going to zero, you have no chance of your series converging. And in fact, those terms are becoming infinite. So this series never even had a chance of converging. 